Hey everyone, it's Tess, and today I have a really fun pistol. I dig this pistol anyway. I really, really like it. Um, I have a arrow precision that's very similar to it, but mine's not built yet, unfortunately. So until I get around to doing that, this is pretty cool to handle here in, sto in store. So this is the Spikes Tactical Spartan. And I'm going to show you later in the video a close-up of all of the features, but really quickly I want to give you a rundown about some of these special features on this pistol. So this is a pistol, pistol AR. It's chambered in traditional 5.56 NATO, but um, it has a 8.1 inch barrel, so it is a pistol. This is not a stock, this is a pistol brace. Um, this one is actually from Maxim Defense. It's very, very unique in that it is a adjustable, sort of like a traditional stock. So even though this functions as a pistol brace, it actually has five positions, four positions, that it is adjustable to. So it locks into place in each position. And so it's very, very sturdy. Um, you can, you know, ATF already clarified that intermittent shouldering of a pistol brace is um, not out of bounds, so uh, this is perfect for that because it's very stable. Uh, they left the rubberized butt pad, uh, butt pad on the end, um, so, you know, you, you're supposed to strap this around your arm, um, but it also provides really, really soft um, recoil, or it provides against recoil <laughs> and so um, it it's a very very nice very nice addition to this pistol it also features a QD point attachment point on this side as well as the reverse side so either side that you like to operate from you're gonna be set um, another feature on this pistol is the uh, unique engraving that it has so actually you can see it from both sides which is really really nice because it does have ambidextrous safety um, but you can see the uh, safe there and the single sword is fire and then it has a sword with uh, blood coming out of it and that is supposed to be for your full auto which of course this is not um, so that you know anyone can come purchase this now it does feature spikes flat trigger um, I wasn't able to figure out the uh, trigger pull on this I did not see that right away so I don't know what the trigger pull is but typically with the flat trigger what we usually see is about a three and a half pound pull and I will say that it is a very very light oh, crisp trigger pull so that I do appreciate um, they did use the uh, Raiden Raptor ambidextrous charge handle on this so anybody that's ever dealt with those before knows that those are a great great feature um, you can just pretty much use it with ease it's like butter comes on back and it's attached to the uh, nickel boron bolt carrier group which you can see there and actually the entire pistol is coated with the um, nickel boron battle worn finish they actually have it printed on here so you know it um, on top of it being in the specs as well um, so it's it's nickel boron bolt carrier group nickel boron coating as well um, I read that the uh, trigger guard as well as the magazine release are both billet pieces so they're machined out of an entire piece of metal and so that gives you more durability um, and overall over the lifetime of the weapon lastly the barrel and gas block are nitride. The um, barrel has, uh, I think they call this the barking spider muzzle brake. So that's a nice feature. They also give you just a thread protector in case you want to use that. That comes attached on this little QD, which you can use to attach to the pistol either here or here, or it's available on the reverse side as well. So that's a great feature as again another feature that I like is their flip up sight really easy to use flip them up flip them down they have two apertures here so you can use the um, larger one like let's see if I can get a good image of it they have the larger one or you can switch it to the smaller one and that's really neat they're very slim very small let's see if I can get that up there they stay out of the way if you don't need it and if you do want to put an optic on it uh, the free float handguard is continuous with the top 
part of the rail, so it's all one single piece, cohesive. The uh, hand guard is M-lock. They've already put some um, guards on here, but of course you can outfit it however you like. And um, I also read the gas block is adjustable just by using an Allen wrench, so that's another great feature. Now we have outfitted this with our um, Magpul magazine. It's got a laser engraving and the uh, pistol itself has laser engraving. So all of these are laser engraved, which again, we're going to give you a much better beauty shot of this, but I just thought I would give you a rundown, breakdown of the features because this has some really, really, really great features. So you definitely need to check this pistol out here in the store. If you haven't seen something like this, if you haven't seen what a real true upgraded AR is like, this one is a great one um, to get to get a look at. Um, so it's very beautiful aesthetically, but also it has enough features there that you're going to streamline your shooting process. So it's very, very nice for that. But uh, let's get into the beauty shots. Time for the sexy, sexy close-up. 